Hi everybody, this is Vitorials and today we are going to create this famous logo of Star Alliance, one of the largest airline alliances in the world that carry almost 700 million passengers in 2016. Initially there were five members in this uh, alliance and I think this is what this very dynamic pyramids are represent. They are pointing in different direction, almost crossing the invisible globe. The motto of this alliance is the way the world connects. But let's talk, do more. Let's start our Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Go to File, New. I'm gonna size this document with 19, 20 and 10. 80, click create and uh, here as always I want to turn off aligned pixel grid and increase the row size of our layers so everybody can see them easily. Next I'm gonna grab the, all of my colors to the menu at board and lock it here. So let's start with our polygon tool. Grab your polygon tool and by default it has six uh, sides it draws me a hexagon and in order to create a pentagon don't release the left mouse button key and hit once uh, down arrow key to create this uh, nice pentagon and then we need to hold shift key to sit it right on this side and voila we have our pentagon I want to set the stroke color to black uh, fill to none. And the last step I want to align this pentagon both horizontally and vertically to my artboard to the center of my document. Uh, make sure that you're aligning to artboard in your align options. Um, then I want to create a smaller copy of this uh, pentagon and for doing that we need to go to our scale tool, double click on it open the scale uh, dialog box uh, here set the uniform value to 40 percent and click ok to create this uh, small pentagon and i want to hold shift key and rotate it to 45 degrees to the left now when we have our two pentagons we need to create a rectangle so approach to your polygon tool again and uh, draw a pentagon and then hit twice uh, down arrow key in order to create this triangle release your left mouse button key and now we need to place uh, this uh, triangle right beneath the angles of our pentagons between uh, this angle of this smaller copy and this angle of this uh, original file and for doing that we need to a little bit rotate our pentagon and I need also a scale it a little bit. I hold shift key because I want to I want to scale it down every size in proportion with each other and I think I get the job done because it doesn't need to be pixel to pixel. So the next step to make sure that uh, your smart device is tuned on Ctrl U, Command U if to turn on turn off your smart device. Grab your pen tool and start drawing on the one an angle of your uh, triangle. Approach to the center and as you can see uh, Adobe Illustrator gives me a prompt then there is the center and I want to uh, make a point here and then I want to go to the another angle and close my path like so. So I create another triangle and I want to divide my tri this uh, triangle on the paths path like so. So from the side to the center to another angle and then uh, complete my shape. Then keep, I think I need to a little adjust this kind of shape scale it a little bit more so I have uh, this kind of pyramid uh, top view of this pyramid and I want to select this uh, small uh, guy our first triangle and 
I want to add a point, so go to the add anchor point tool. And here I want to add a point right in the, this intersection. Go from the center of your triangle and add uh, a point here. Then go to your uh, anchor point tool and uh, holding shift key, increase your handles and then align these handles right along the path. Like so. And my last step, I want to grab my direct selection tool and move this point to the top, like so. So we have this kind of curved line, not a straight line. And I want to copy this triangle, adjusted triangle, uh, on places of this and this size. So, and for doing that, I need to grab my reflect, uh, I'm sorry, I need to grab my rotate tool, click R. Use uh, center. I'll click on the center of my composition and set the value of my rotation to 120 degrees. Click copy in order to produce a duplicate and then Ctrl T to repeat the separation and produce a duplicate here on this side. And I can delete the original files here because we have this kind of pyramid with uh, this uh, curve line. And we have our shape, we can simply add the colors to it. So I have a color, prepared colors. I want to just grab my airdropper tool, sample the colors from my shape. Uh, next, I want to select all of these uh, triangles that form my pyramid with a sh holding shift key. And uh, using my route, right mouse button context menu, group them. Our next steps is to involve the center. We need to find the center of this large uh, pentagon. And for doing that, we need to grab, assess our rulers. If you can't find your rulers, hit Ctrl R or Command R on your mark. And then uh, with your selection tool, uh, grab one of the quarks, keep it selected so it's now changing its color and uh, align it, your vertical guide horizontally to the center and then uh, align your horizontal line vertically to the center so we have the center of this document and we need to rotate this uh, pyramid and create a several duplicates so uh, grab your rotation tool and uh, go to your center alt click to open the dialog box and here we need to set a rotation angle 360 divided by 5 it's equals 72 so uh, set an angle of 72 and click check preview and click copy and then ctrl t command t to repeat this uh, operation and create five two, uh, five equally separated pyramids so we, we have this kind of design and we actually create this logo. If you enjoy this tutorial, thumb up to my video, subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, thank you for following to the end and have a nice day.